Good morning everybody and welcome to Visit File Coast. It's definitely morning. It's definitely morning. It's 7.13am. And you see, you thought, I never ever went out in the dark, didn't you? Well, you were wrong. Because, because today I'm going out in the dark. It might even, it might even be starting to get light by the time we arrive at our destination. So thank you for joining me on this drive. We're going to go through Cleveland, Spisburn, and all the usual places, but we're going to go right down to South Shore because this morning I'm going to a meeting at Blackpool and the Fowl College Energy HQ, Lancashire Energy HQ it's called, which is not far from Squiresgate Airport. So if you're new in these parts, if you're a new viewer, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to the channel and get your notifications enabled and then you'll know when we upload new content because there's all kinds of stuff. We try to bring some variety for everybody. So this is Cleveland Square, the beautiful little town where I live <coughs> on, a, on a very dark, quiet morning. And this obviously is the Blackpool to Fleetwood tramway on our right hand side. It, it always looks a little bit different when it's dark, I think. In fact, I've just, despite, despite going around that roundabout a million times before, I've just sat at the roundabout with the traffic lights <laughs> at the end of Ruffley Road. Strange but true, you don't, you're not surprised at anything, are you, that I do? So everybody's, everybody's either just getting up and just going to work or everybody's still snoring at this time of day. I know T-Boy in training will definitely be snoring because he's not, he's not a morning person by any stretch of the imagination. So this is kind of quiet, quiet northern end of the foul coast. You can turn left there which takes you through the back streets, through Bispam to the Victoria Hospital and Devonshire Road and all that kind of thing. On our right hand side is Anchor Zone Park, but obviously it's just a it's just a black hole at the moment. So I thought while <coughs> I was going out early, I thought I'd take you with me. Because once we get round this corner here, I'm hoping that it's this corner you should see something really rather nice in front of you which I could see which I could see when I set off this morning from our front gate oh not quite we need to get a little bit a little bit further round but the Blackpool Tower when I set off was was actually illuminated bright red so we'll see what colour it is when we get a bit nearer and it all looks I mean it's still January and it's quarter past six, quarter past six, quarter past seven. And it all looks so very, very different when it's quiet. So I thought it's something that you wouldn't normally get to see. I know we've done this drive loads of times before. Um, probably loads of you have watched it in the daytime, in the sun and all the rest of it. But I'll bet that you've not seen it at quarter past seven in the morning. So, I'm off to, as I said, the Lancashire Energy HQ. And that's a relatively new build. I'm not quite sure exactly how long it's been open. No break castle on your left. I'm not quite sure how long it's been open, but it's only, I think, I have a feeling it opened round about the time of the pandemic. Maybe, or it must have been just before because I've been to meetings there in the past. It must have been a, a year or two before. So it's only been open about four or five years. And it's a meeting called BBLG or Blackpool Business Leaders Group. And I've been going to that for a long time. And it's a really good, it's a really good meeting. And it's where all the, all the people that run and own businesses in Blackpool all gather together to find out what's happening and to share information so you never know we might get to find something interesting out and if we do you can be sure that we'll share it with you 
Anyway, another little bit of information. You probably realised <coughs> that I fathomed out the audio on the GoPro. It's such a long time since I'd used it because I'd, I'd been using it to make driving videos before Chrissy was out. And I've been out of the loop for, for quite a while and completely forgotten that I needed a little adapter for the microphone. So that's why, that's why the audio when I'd been on the tram the other day was missing. Because the, the GoPro needs a, I think it was a TR35 adapter or something equally weird to make the microphone work. So there you have it. So there you have it. Anyway, we're all we're all back in we're all back in action now. Can we see it yet? No, not quite. And of course these are all oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can see it straight in front of me, just the top of it. First to see the tower. And don't the tableaus look strange by darkness? Very odd. Very odd. And it'll not be it'll not be long before we're saying it's September again and the lights are going back on. You'll mark my words. You'll mark my words. So we're just about getting up to Gin Square. Not be a min many many minutes at all. We're we're just gonna pass the Genting Casino on our left. I can just see it's I can just see its strip lights and then the view of the tower. Oh, it's, it's a yellowy orange colour now. In fact, it's street light coloured. That's why I'd not noticed it. The lights change colour as, as um, I think they must be on a timer. The, the, the fade through, fade through different colours. I have to say it's very cold. It was, it was three degrees when I set off, kill for a song. It's three and a half now, or so it says. Maybe that's because the car's warmed up a little bit. So it's still, it's still chilly. It's still chilly, but it's not windy and it's not raining. So that's, that's all that matters. So when you've watched this, you can say, that you've actually seen Jane go out in the dark. Ta -ta 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 -ta, drum roll and fanfare. Gin roundabout, next stop. I feel like that announcement on the tram. The, the next stop is Gin Square. And it all looks so, so different. But, <coughs> The days are getting that little bit longer and that means the nights are getting that little bit shorter. Oh, there you go, look, that's your picture that we were waiting for. That lovely. Excuse me while I just clear my throat. <coughs> um, the, the nights are getting that little bit shorter, the days are getting that little bit longer, so that means that spring must be just around the corner in fact yesterday afternoon I'd been out all afternoon in fact I've been out all day um, and it was it was too late to start doing any work and a little bit early for tea time when I got back home so we treated ourselves yesterday and we had our tea a little bit early 10 minutes early and it was lovely to eat our tea in the daylight without needing to put the light on. So there you go, I walked into the living room and I said, ooh, tea in the daylight. And thought about Chrissy, because she used to say that every year. A few of the hotels are still open. They're, they're still doing um, winter rates. Quite a few of them are closed, as you can see. They're all in, they're all in darkness, and the hotel owners at this time of year go go on holiday and rest and recharge their batteries. So the world will be, 
the world will be populated with Blackpool tourism providers at the moment. doing well for, for green lights normally when I get in the car I manage to find every single red one that's late <coughs> and there you go Blackpool beautiful Blackpool Tower all lit up look you can see it's just starting to turn it's just starting to change colour it's got a more lemony lemony yellow now all the lights are turned off All the cabins, oh there's still two left. There's two cabins left to move. Most of Christmas by the sea is gone. Not sure what they're doing with Odyssey. I'll see if I can find out this morning. <coughs> there's a little bit of a little bit of the monster still lit. Oh I would imagine they're taking it down, I just noticed. There's some Harris fencing gone up round it, so perhaps the perhaps they're removing it. Coral Island close, Golden Mile. Not heard anything yet about when gold, the new Golden Mile amusements are opening either. Or what's going underneath sea life now, that I am intrigued at. We've got all bets on Gruffalo and all hopes on Lego. But that's another, that's another press announcement for another day, that. Pier all dark and quiet. And all, all asleep, and then in sort of another week or two, you'll see everything starting to stretch. It's like it's stretching its legs and 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 throwing the sheets off after after a winter hibernation and, and ready for coming back to life. And they'll all be making sure that the shutters work and they've not seized up over winter and. Um, getting the stocking and getting ready and doing the cleaning and the decorating and then opening ready for opening oh naughty man he's just gone through a red light oh we're doing well um be opening and getting ready for ready for february half term Very quiet on the Western Front. This, of course, is Manchester Square. If you can't quite see, if you can't quite see the dim pub in front of us, and just on the left is Rigby Road Tram Depot. As you just kind of go around that corner, where the trams used to live, but now they live at Squires Gate, which we will actually pass this morning on our way on our way to where we're going. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I, I could, I could have gone down there or down the next one or down the next one. Could have done the back streets, but I'm going to take the full drive all the way along the promenade. And then you can see all of it in its, in its glory. So we will be passing the tram sheds at Squires Gate on our journey. And I'm just slowing down a little bit because the, next building project is on our left is the Lindeen and next left is St Chad's <coughs> and you might have seen a new video I've uploaded about St Chad's and the, the clearing work and they are currently emptying it apparently the people that previously had it just walked out and literally left everything inside. So the plan is to demolish St Chad's. When they've done that, they're going to rebuild a new hotel at St Chad's. And then they're going to apparently demolish the Lindine. And then when they've got two hotels built, they're going to put a bridge across the, the road between them to connect the two properties, which will be rather splendid. It will indeed. 
because it's the same it's the same group that own both of those sites looks like they've got some coach travelling at the Queen's either that or they're using the they're using the car park and we're, we're at the sandcastle look at the pleasure beach all, all dark they'll be opening again at it's February half term they open don't they for, for weekends velvet coast is now serving breakfasts well maybe not quite yet they still look rather closed all quiet all quiet and gloomy but not for long not for long <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat this morning really odd I mean normally when you might come in summer you can't get a space down here for love and the money they're all they're all about nose to tail and this is the Hampton by Hilton that we're coming up to on the left and apparently they've got quite good deals on winter rooms at the moment and they're also building an extension so you can see the bit of the the building that's quite new that is currently being used and occupied and the rest of the curve is under construction and being built at the moment where the where the scaffolding is you might not be able to see it quite properly it's just a touch dim a bit like me solaris center on the left where you can call in for a nice warm brewing about to eat when you're out on a promenade walk and these apartments are lovely got quite a surprise when I saw them in daylight they're, they're really lovely but that's a fabulous view from up there they're private they're residential one of our regular viewers has a flat in this crescent just down here and now we're coming up to the tram depot and there's a tram just just going to it look so this is a this is also a relative new build i think this might have been opened about 10 years it's a while it's not brand brand new so that's where all the trams live oh and look the sun's coming up for us so there's the welcome or goodbye arch depending on depending on which way you want to look at it <coughs> So there's a, a tram wash there, there's the engineering stuff, there's um, the sheds where they park them at night when they're not actually in service. And this is Squares Gate Lane, which takes you up to the motorway. So if you were to carry on right to the end of this road, you would come to Yeadon Way. Turn right, next stop M55. Oh, look at that, the day's just starting to dawn. It's just starting to dawn. So there's Lidl. Lidl. There's loads of loads of things down here. There's supermarket first stop on your right. Um, and then there's a, 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 a... I'm not quite sure what, exactly what type it is. But some kind of hotel, travel lodge type thing. Next right. I should have stopped in that right lane, shouldn't I really? Because we are going right. Oh, he's going to let me in. So, thank you. Thank you, nice man. So, we're going in this building here that's lit up with the red lights on it. And I'm just hoping I've come to the right junction because it's a little bit challenging for my small brain to actually, to actually get in. And I can't remember where the entrance is. <laughs> I think I've gone past it, as you might say. I think I've gone past it. I'll cut this little bit out where I'm turning round and, and coming back. Or shall we? Shall we go into the industrial estate and go round the roundabout and come back? We'll go into the industrial estate and go round the roundabout. So this is where we got 
can I mention it? We've got Kate Tata done now. This is Squires Gate Retail Park. And it's actually a very good, very good site. There's, as you'll see in a moment, there's TK Maxx, there's PC World and Curry's, there's um, Halfords, there's Morrison's, and then straight forward is kind of business land. So there's lots of warehouses and offices and car showrooms and things. Mackey for your breakfast. Right, we'll try that again, shall we? We'll try that again. Petrol station, Costa Coffee. I feel like um, Grace Brothers. Ground floor, ladies' laundry. remember now I remember now you come in here and then you double back on this little access road it's all coming back to me I think that's a cue for a song as well it's all coming back to me I can remember not being able to find my way last time I came so you come round here oh wobble 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 watching for the bump that's better that's better, so you know, they put the light because we went all the way down the, the slip road. So I hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed that little video. I'll take you I'll take you to the um, entrance and then you'll be able to see the building from the front a little bit better. It's a little bit dark, isn't it? And then uh, I'll go and see what's occurring this morning. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Very different look at Blackpool Seafront at a very different time of year on a very different on a very different day. There you go. And behind that fence there is um, the airport field. So make sure you're subscribed. And until next time, we will see you later. I'm going to park here on this end. Bye for now. <laughs>